these kids, uh, they, what we know, they don't like big texts and they like pictures. So we would probably, uh, and about uh, subject, uh, how would we uh, learn them, teach them about World War II, uh, for example. Okay. Uh, we would, uh, with, uh, on the class first, uh, uh, together with them, do some uh, mind map. Uh, where we can, uh, where we can, uh, with, with, but more with more pictures, not so much text. But if it's their text, it would be big letters and uh, emphasize letters for them, okay. so they would uh, memorize it more. And then uh, we could, we would make timelines for them with uh, chronologically, with uh, most important uh, history events, and then, uh, and then. Uh, the whole time we would encourage them and uh, so they would feel you know like they are involved in the subject and everything and then uh, we would uh, maybe give them uh, an assignment uh, when they are uh, at home to visit the museum about world war ii or maybe to look some video about world war ii or or some uh, something about history Experience. that they could uh, maybe connect uh, with this subject and then uh, when they come to class uh, they could analyze that and we could they could make some uh, analyzations together and uh, and then uh, we would uh, maybe give them a t test but only with this uh, informations from a map from a map and what okay. they saw in the okay <laughs> thank you so much <laughs>